Hi, everybody. My name is Lisa, and this is my show, Angel Guidance by Lisa. So if you haven't met me yet, I'd like to introduce myself. I am an evidential medium, an intuitive, a Reiki master healer, and a teacher of all things spiritual. And I'd love to share all the things I've learned that spirit has taught me over the years. Because yes, it has been many years that I've been working with spirit. And you know what? I never learn everything. And you know, no one does because here on the earth and the physical plane of existence. We're here to learn and we're here for lessons and we're here to grow and live joyously. And so keeping with that theme of living joyously, I'd like to say happy Thanksgiving to you. If you're here in the United States, this is the time when we have this holiday. Also, um, if you're not, Happy Thanksgiving to you anyway, and I wish you joy and love. But I do want to talk about the frequency of giving and receiving. And so when I say frequency, I'm talking about energy. And I believe, and I have been shown, that we are all energy. And our energy can be at a real high level or a low level. And when it's at a real high level, we invite other high level energy in to our space. And so when we do that, we are manifesting. We're manifesting our thoughts, our feelings. We're manifesting what we think about. And so when I talk about frequency and I say giving and receiving frequency, what I mean is when you give things to people, you're emitting a frequency of love. And when you receive things from people, you're emitting a frequency of allowing in, of of getting, of receiving, and of being grateful. So at Thanksgiving, we talk about being grateful. And we're just grateful for friends and family and having food on the table and and living um, in a neighborhood that we like. And and so we're grateful for the very basic things. And really, that's what life comes down to, being grateful for living in the moment. There are ways to help you manifest that may surprise you doing having to do with being grateful. And so I just want to share something with you that's really simple to do. And I challenge you to try it. So for the next 21 days, you can either pick a friend or do it by yourself, but I want you to write three statements of gratitude. In other words, what are you grateful for that day? And each statement needs to be in the present moment. And as you move through this exercise day after day, I want you to think of three different things every single day to be grateful for. And you know, when you start thinking about why you're grateful, you begin to emit an energy or frequency of receiving. And that invites good things to come your way. It's been shown, and not by me, but it's been shown by a Harvard study that when you are grateful for 21 days in a row, you automatically rewire your brain to look for more reasons to be grateful. Oh, isn't that a fantastic thing? Our biology is set up so we can create new connections in our brain that can help us with manifesting. So if you want to try this challenge, I would suggest starting with a friend, which I do frequently, and just emailing my gratitudes, as I like to refer to them, every day to my friend. And they email me three gratitudes back. It helps to have a friend when you do this challenge so you stay on point. And what I also want you to do is 
start to notice when you are receiving things you hadn't really asked for. Like maybe it's um, a free cup of coffee at the Starbucks or maybe it's um, a coupon you didn't realize you had in your purse or your wallet that gets you a free admission to a movie. When you notice those little everyday things, be grateful for them. Thank the universe for them because those are little messages. It doesn't matter if it's a tiny thing or a big thing. The universe only recognizes that you're grateful, period. Grateful for whatever it is that's coming into your life. Now, what if there are things happening in your life that you're not sure about how you could be grateful for them? Well, you know, sometimes there are lessons that we don't know about at the moment when things happen. So instead of resisting those things that happen and maybe aren't mm, a reason you think you'd be grateful for them, start being grateful for every moment. Be grateful for the present moment. Be grateful for each day. And if you have a challenge thinking about what to be grateful for, I want you to be grateful for this. Be grateful that you can wake up in the morning and you can move through your day with ease and flow and that you can choose your next thought because you have that freedom to do that. So start, start thinking about the real basic reasons to be grateful. Try that challenge with a friend for the 21 days. And if you would like to share with me the results of your gratitude exercise, I invite you to do so. Message me at Pure Love Energy on Facebook. I'd be happy to hear what you have to say. I would love to hear if gratitudes rewired your brain and you start noticing more abundance flowing into your life. So I hope this can be helpful for you. And I'm looking forward to hearing your messages. Okay, so I have a caller and it's Sherry in Birmingham, Alabama, uh, Birmingham, um, England. <laughs> Hi, Sherry. Hi. How are you? I'm a little bit nervous because I've never been on radio or anything before. Oh, well, welcome, and please don't be nervous. I, I never did this before I started doing this show, and so I was nervous, too, the first time, let me tell you. Um, but you're totally, um, totally welcome here, and I'm just happy that you called in, and because I love to help people, and I'd love to help you. So what's going on today? I just feel like I cannot... We get direction. I just, every day, everywhere I turn, I make the wrong mistake. Okay. Okay. And so what, how do you, um, what kind of direction are you seeking? I mean, so you said you, everywhere you turn, you make a mistake. Um, are you thinking about what your purpose is before you start, uh, your day? I mean, do you intend how you want your day to go? Yes, I should probably tell you I have a background in uh, the same type of teaching that you have, um, and I'm not a young person. Okay, okay, I see. So you understand that our, as you mentioned, you understand our energy is shaped by our intentions, right? Absolutely. Right, and so, of course, we can take it upon ourselves to um, decide how things get to go for us. And so what you're telling me then is that you're unclear as to how things aren't working the way you thought they would work for you. Now, right. okay, so could you give me an example? And, and then I'll, we'll talk about it a little bit. Okay. Um, I have a bad choice in men. I have moved back and forth overseas. Um, I don't know, so many times I can't count. Okay, okay. 
And so you feel like these decisions you've made um, aren't serving you in the long term. Um, you're okay. So it sounds like your energy is scattered to me is what that sounds like. Um, it's, it is one thing to know and understand the teachings that, that you share that you, you know, that we have in common. It's another thing to be sure that they're in place every single day. So absolutely. That's, that's a big thing. And sometimes we get off track with that and that's, that's fine. You know, we're human. We get off track with that. I think the important thing here is to remember that um, we don't need to be defined by our mistakes and our past experiences. And sometimes that energy lingers and kind of laps over into our current decision making. Does that make sense to you? Right. I can point now. Where, where I would just like to have somebody say, stand still, stay there, stay here, stay, do this, do something. Um, I feel mm-hmm. like I've done so many bad mistakes that I just want mm-hmm. somebody to say. <laughs> I see. To give you an idea as to what direction to take. Because it feels so, you know, surrendering is surrendering is really important, of course. So we need to ask for guidance always, you know, especially when it comes to relationships or anything. Really, I ask for guidance all day long, you know. Um, What I feel like also for you is that you like um, you like to feel and fall like you like that feeling of falling in love with someone, you know, and I feel like for you also, there's this emotional um, openness about you that allows you to get swept up into the emotion of these relationships. And um, so it's important for you to stay grounded during all these decisions. And so may I ask you, how do you ground yourself? I'm not really sure at this point. I used okay. to think that I would That's ground okay. myself in, in, uh, you know, in things, in things. The more things, things. I had, the less chance I have to. Well, and th- then I learned that's not true, because I used to think the more things I had, the more grounding I'd have to have, because you can't move with a bunch of things. Well, I've learned a lesson. I've learned that there's storage units. Yeah. Sometimes those things also weigh us down a little bit, you know, Uh, prevents us from moving or changing when we need to. But may I tell you a few ways um, that I ground that I found very helpful because, you know, the work I do, I'm very much up here in the ethers, you know, and um, it's important for us to be firmly rooted just like a tree. And so, um, you know, we're all electromagnetic beings and we have all this electricity and energy running through our bodies. And just like a grounding plug in your house, you know, that grounds the electricity into the earth. Right. um, We need to be grounded too. And what it does is it balances us. And so one way to ground yourself, and I do this every single day as I take a walk outside and You can ground yourself that way because nature will naturally attune you to its frequency, okay? Um, Another way to ground yourself if it's warm is to actually walk barefoot on the earth, okay? And when you walk barefoot on the earth, you're giving the earth an opportunity to pull that excess scattered energy down into the ground to be transmuted, okay? And those are two ways to ground yourself. I suggest grounding yourself every single day. You might notice a shift in your energy and a shift in your decision making that way. Um, Another way to do it if you can't get outside is to sit in a chair, feet flat on the floor and uh, back straight and visualize um, roots growing from the root chakra, which is in the base of your spine. Visualize the roots growing all the way through your legs, out the bottoms of your feet, 
and going deep into the earth. So it's for your energy is firmly rooted in Mother Earth. Okay, that's another way to ground yourself. I like yourself. that. Yeah. It's yes, easy. I like that. Yes. Yeah, I would try that every day. See, that takes like, you know, if you could do that for five minutes a day, that would really help you. It would really help shift right. your energy I like back that. into the present moment. Another way to ground yourself, and you may not have heard of this before or thought of it. I hadn't until I started teaching it was um, being grateful. <laughs> being grateful grounds yourself. <laughs> it puts you in the present moment, okay? And so if you can. Well, I was ready for gratitude bank. Did you, did you hear that? I, I was raised, I was raised in, the, in the Unity Church. Oh, if you perfect. Know about so that. Was I. I don't know if you know. So, okay. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yes, I was too. Okay. And so being grateful will ground, your, will ground you. And so every day, right. think about things you're grateful for. And start going, making it, make it a spiritual practice of being grateful. Okay. And, right. and start noticing how these circumstances in your life have served you in a way versus how they took, have taken away your energy. Okay. And so when you start right. shifting that perspective, you will start to see how these, these circumstances served you, how they were for your benefit, you know, how they did not just happen to you, but they were happening for you because, you know, uh, you know, when we have contrast in our lives, when these things come up, we're not sure about, we don't like, or like, oh, wait, I don't want to go there. You know, when you experience right, right. that, that is a golden opportunity to change your direction and think about how you're grateful for how this can serve you. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay, so I do it's want good. to tell it's you this. I feel like you are, you know, you you do this work. I feel like you're you're highly intuitive. Um, I feel like you need to start trusting your intuition more. I feel like sometimes there's information that comes in that you are, um, you know, you're like, well, hmm, I'm going to try it my way anyway, you know. And right. a lot of times that will shift us off our path. You know, and you know, as well as I do, intuition is from our higher self and it's our higher self only has our highest good in mind for us. So um, definitely tune into your intuition and decide um, that you're going to listen to it and then be grateful for the intuition and ask for more. Okay, ask for more true okay. messages from your higher self. I hope this helped you. And, you know, if you have any more questions, would you please message me on my Facebook page at Pure Love Energy? And I'd be happy to answer. I will indeed. Okay? All right. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. All right. You have a blessed day. Been Thanks, great. Sherry. Thank you. Bye-bye. You too, because I have mine died. I'm at Thank you. Okay. That was great to talk to Sherry. Of Laura in Hamden, Ohio, I welcome you to my show. Hi. Thank you. Hi. Yeah. Hi, how are you? Oh, I'm better now that I'm getting the chance to talk to somebody. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, good. It's good to hear your voice. Um, tell me what I can help you with today. Uh, yes, ma'am. Um, I recently lost my mother within uh, almost the past three years. Ago, mm -hmm. um, I was the one that helped lay her to rest. Um, I okay. spent, you know, um, I did the hospice part of it. Um, mm -hmm. And I wanted to know if there was anything I could have done better or differently for her, if there was any message okay. from her. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Um, so I feel like your mother's stepping in, and I feel like she was a woman who. Um, she looked like she would have been a tidy person. Like she really cared about her appearance and yeah. it looks like she's stepping in and she would have been a little more formal, even not, um, not so casual. Like if, if she was going to like, she's showing me herself, like even in um, a nice, like a church outfit, almost like, um, something you'd wear to church. And it feels like that's how she would have liked to be presented to people. Um, 
I feel like there was, uh, let's see. I also feel like there's a connection with a color blue with her or blue and white. I'm getting those colors. I'm not sure why she's showing me those colors. It may be, a, pardon me? My brother, he was in the military. Ah, okay, okay. Is he still with you? Is he still in the physical world? No. No? Okay. Well, that may be part of it, because I see them in clothing, and I see them together. So it may be that they're coming in together, and so that's what I'm seeing here. Okay, thank you. Um, Let's see. I'm going to try to talk to Mom for just a minute. Um, Is there some connection with jewelry with you and she? Is there some... It feels like there would have been something that she gave to you or left you or something to do also with the jewelry she may have worn at the end of her life. Did she, was she buried? May I ask? Yeah. Because it feels like she would have, it would have been something you selected for her to wear um, for the burial for yeah. the death. Okay. And, and so she's mentioning that and she liked that. She liked what she did. Okay. Her Ohio um, State watch. Okay. Right. Okay. Thank you. So she liked that. Um, she felt like you honored her in the best way you could have. And she knew you were struggling at the time. And she, so she's thanking you for all, all you did for her. And it feels like there was more than just the burial for her. It feels like you really helped her a lot towards the end of her life. And yeah. there was this strong bond between you. It's like mother-daughter, and it's also friends. Like, you really were close in a way yeah. that you felt like they you could tell her. Okay, you could tell her anything, because I feel like there is this connection that is so strong that... And I feel like she comes to you in dreams. Just pay attention yeah. because she will step through in dreams. And, you know, so she can pass along her messages because she wants you to know she's with you. And that that bond of love you share has not changed anything. Okay. She's not here in the physical, but please, she's telling me, please don't question yourself. Okay, because it feels like you're very hard on yourself. You second guess things and that's you need to let that go. Okay, yes, and just just release that. All right. Um, let me see oh, here. If I so can accurate. Talk. Good. Thank, thank you. Um, well, she's talking, you know, um, let's see. So I want to see if brother can step through here and and what he has to say. I feel a connection with cars with brother. Um, I feel like he was very connected to certain a certain vehicle or a love of a car or a type of car. Um, yes. I feel okay. Thank you. Um, I feel like there was a connection with the school with him as well. Like there was some pride or honor having to do with a school with him. Um, it feels like it would have been um, something he was connected with personally, and he was in the Gulf were, War. And uh, okay. he was uh, honorably discharged. Okay. Did he? Okay. So I feel like there is a school connection with him, though, too. You know, like some kind of school. Not that, um, I'm not saying it's a school that he attended, but there's a personal connection with school with him. Like he supported a school, he liked a school. It was something that was prominent. I don't know if it's a sports team or what, but there was something connected with a school with him. Would you understand that? No, unless okay. it would be All Ohio right. State football. Pardon me? Unless it would be Ohio State football. Okay, well, did he support that team? Yes, his head marker is Ohio State football. Oh, well, that would be the school. <laughs> and that's okay. what he's referring to, okay? Because he's he's speaking about that time period when he passed, because I feel like Oh, it feels like there was a gap between the passing of him and mother. It feels like yes. at least 10 years passed in between the two. Um, yes. Okay, thank you. All right. 
Let me see here. I need to check my time. Okay, so I just have another minute or so. But let me also say that they come in together. Your mother and brother are coming in together. Okay, and they are sending you their love because they watch over you. All right. They do every single day. And when you think of them, know that they're stepping in into your energy. And I want you to notice signs, too. You may notice a certain bird connected with your mother, um, a bird that she really liked that may be coming through that would be a sign from her that she's with you. And pay attention to your dreams as well, like I mentioned, because she's going to be connecting with you in your dreams. All right? Laura? I really appreciate yeah. your time. Thank you so much. If you have another question or two, message me at Pure Love Energy on Facebook and I'll see what I can do for you, okay? Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bless you. Have a wonderful day. Bless you. You too. Thank Bye-bye. you. Bye-bye. Okay, folks. Um, thank you so much for listening to uh, my readings today. Um, I do give psychic and evidential mediumship readings where I connect with loved ones in spirit. If you'd like to have a reading with me, message me at Pure Love Energy on Facebook. I do them over Zoom. I can do them over the phone. Either way, um, I can certainly pass messages along to you. Please take me up on my grateful challenge that we talked about earlier in the show. And if you'd like to share with me the results of your gratitude challenge for 21 days, I'm happy to hear them. I want to wish you all happy Thanksgiving if you're in this side of the world and have a wonderful day. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.